Hello guys. I have a new recipe here that we're going to try. It's a cookie recipe. My brother actually gave me this and asked me to make them. So it's almond honey butter cookies. It sounds pretty good actually. So here's what you're going to need. One cup of whole almonds, which... What in the world did I do? Oh. <laughs> okay. So it says one cup, but then in the instructions it tells you to um, toast them and grind them up. I didn't toast them because I just bought, I bought these. So that's that. One and one fourth cup of whole wheat pastry flour. That's what those two are. One cup of all purpose flour. One teaspoon of bacon powder, a half a teaspoon of salt, two thirds a cup of honey, and then one fourth a cup of honey divided, one third cup of canola oil, four tablespoons of unsalted butter at room temperature, one large egg, one teaspoon of vanilla extract and four tablespoons of sliced almonds. So we're going to preheat our oven to 350 and get started here. I already ground the almonds up. Well, as best as my little cheap grinder would grind them. And I just went over them with a knife if there was any that didn't get ground up enough. I'm going to put that in your bowl. i add our whole wheat pastry flour. all-purpose flour, bacon powder, and salt. Mix that up. I never made these before, but they sound pretty good. All right, we're going to need another bowl. In that, we're going to add a two-thirds cup of flour, uh, not flour, honey. We're also going to add the oil. And three tablespoons of butter. Let me get all this honey out of here. Smells so good, the honey. Mm-mm-mm. All our oil. And three tablespoons. Did I say three? Yes, three tablespoons of butter. It doesn't say to add the... The recipe calls for four tablespoons, but this part says to add three, so that is what we'll do. And then you want to mix it with an electric mixer. Look at this. Ah. Alright, we're going to mix this with an electric beater until it's combined. I'll shut you guys off so you don't have to listen to this. There we go. Add the vanilla. And one egg. And mix that up. Alright, here we go. Our dough's been in the fridge for an hour. I have a greased cookie sheet. And we're just going to drop tablespoon. Oh, you guys can't even see what I'm doing. Just drop tablespoonfuls of the dough. Two inches a pack. 
And then I will show you the neat part we're going to do. So here's my first tray. I'll show you guys what we do next. You take your finger and press down on it like that. Probably not as hard as I did. I don't know why it says take your finger. Why not your thumb? I'm going to do my thumb. Let me see. Yeah, I like the thumb better. We're doing the thumb. Okay, so just like thumbprint cookies. And then we're going to bake them just like that until barely golden on the bottom, 13 to 15 minutes. There's our cookies. They kind of look the same as when I put them in, but they're cooked in the bottom. And that's actually cooked too much. It's supposed to be more like that or that. So, we're going to let them cool for 30 minutes. You're going to take the rest of your honey. I have a little mini whisk here, but you could use whatever you want. And then we're going to take our other tablespoon of butter. I'm just going to chop it up a little bit so it's easier to mix in. This is the softened butter. And we're just going to mix those two together until they're combined. And if your butter is soft, shouldn't take that long. Whoops. There we go. Take our cookies. And we're just going to put a little bit of that right in the little indents that we made. That might have been too much. So then you're going to take your almonds that you had put aside and you can just buy the slivered almonds if you wanted to. But I have these whole almonds so I'm just going to slice them right in half and you just want to put one or two on top. Just like that. So let me finish these up. There we go. So after I put them on like it says to with the picture, I decided they looked better. Chopped up a little bit more. They're pretty good. If you like almond, you'll definitely like these. Alright, I'm making a mess here. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you soon.